So hi everyone, welcome to the homecast again. So based on the open call, someone a really nicely replied back to me. And today guess this is would you mind to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Jordan McDonald. Um I'm a student on fine arts, uh, second year. And yeah, I don't know how to <laughs> introduce myself further, but I have an object for you. So <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Jordan. Um, so yeah, can you tell me about like a story about of your objects or you know, just tell me anything what you bring for me and something that just tell me. Thank you. Um, well my object that I brought to you is one that I've personally made. Um there's actually a hundred of them, but Wow. <laughs> but um basically I've been working with plaster a lot and um backtracking, but my work's very much about um gender and um body parts so i've been um plaster casting condoms uh so you just pour plaster into the condom and um kind of let it sit uh and then you take it out and it's kind of like obviously white and when you touch it it's kind of like depends how the plaster is set it can feel rough it can have bubbles in it or it can feel smooth and obviously all 100 of them are very unique and different so yeah uh <laughs> Well, can you tell me what sort of different was it? Is there like any particular like interesting story or something that like you think, wow, well, you definitely need to tell the audience like is really interesting or something that's like mean a lot to you personally? Why you want to use condom when you doing your artwork though? Can you tell a bit more, please? Yeah, of course. Um, basically, like I said, my my work's around gender, and I wanted to explore this idea of androgyny and mm. um, pour plaster into a condom and what I do um, trying to explain this in a in a way that doesn't sound weird but <laughs> I basically hang them on this washing line so the gravity lets them like kind of set um, so mm. kind of or I like to call them my boobsticles because they kind of like this this thing condoms are very masculine becomes this very feminine form in a way very soft and um mm. and very like bulbous in a way so I quite like I was kind of exploring and experimenting how this can become very more androgynous and very um different to the original form I was casting in if that makes sense <laughs> yeah amazing so is there like a particular like story that why you want to like express like gender a sort of like um topic for your artwork yeah um being I am transgender myself so I feel like exploring my work through a 3d base by making objects kind of helps me explore myself and express myself so it's kind of like a physical way and kind of like a therapeutic way to Mm. for life really that's that's is actually so powerful at work. Thank you so much, Jordan. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to ask you a few questions when you're ready. Yeah. Lovely. So, what is the most important things you have learned in your life? What was your life learned before learning it? And what was your learn? What was your life learned like after you learning it? Oh God, those are heavy questions. <laughs> <laughs> it does, sorry. What have I learned in my life? I'm only 20, Emily. <laughs> I have still to learn. Um, oh God. I would say like, I'm still, can I do something that I'm still learning? Yeah, of course, go for it. Um, I'm still learning to love myself, to be honest. Um, it's one of those hard things being part of a of the LGBTQ plus community and um obviously stuff going on at the moment with trans rights and everything it's kind of hard to love yourself and it's hard to like you know be in this constant state of uh flux in your life you know mm. so i think i'm i'm slowly learning to appreciate myself a bit more and um i think i've learned that doing so makes life a bit easier i <laughs> think there's no point always like if you always hate yourself yeah have like positivity around you if that makes sense I'm sorry that didn't really answer your question but (laughs) no 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 I mean that's 
with the answer and you answer me something because I think like through time cards it's like that people to journey also it's sort of like a reflection to tell yourself who you are or remind yourself who you are sometimes because like sometimes I think like quite interestingly like all my guesses they sort of forget or not sure who yeah. they are sometimes but when they start like to bring up they taught me to oh I'm like that I used to be like that and now I'm like that it's sort of like an experience and also like a journey that they're learning they're still learning but also it's like a little remind to love mm. yourself in a different form anyway because yeah. for me as well I'm kind of like that too um my process for learning is like actually loving myself and being a bit more confident and just trying new stuff really because like in the past I was like based on like quite like a trauma memory that I have I got depression when I was six really young age and I was just not very like confident and just really like I don't know always like questioning myself self-harm myself but like you know when you're growing up you realize that actually you deserve from love and time to time it's like a learning journey as well so it's you know everyone have their different own story and it's it's mean a lot you know thank you so much Jordan. um <laughs> i'm so sorry yeah i just want to like say like um what to make you feel inspired or like your best of yourself what makes me feel inspired um sorry is it like you can't really hear properly what okay. make you feel inspired or like your best yourself uh okay okay oh <laughs> take your time we got okay. so much time I don't know. <laughs> it's quite don't early. Worry. Uh, don't worry. The best of myself. I'm in the mindset where I don't know. <laughs> I think it's something. Your mindset. Is the, I'm in the mindset that I don't know, you know, what the best of myself is. Mm-hmm. Like, you're always in flux, like I said. You can never be the best you know why should we try and aim for that goal anyway I think it's good to not be good if that makes sense yeah I mean it's always good because like you do I don't know it's like a sort of achievement and a go that like you want to walk further down and do a bit more experiment I think yeah I presume like doing art sometimes it's sort of like a goal that you want to achieve something maybe like we can talk about something that um what you want to achieve from your artwork maybe oh that's better yeah sorry <laughs> I'm trying to avoid no, being that's all right. a perfectionist because I'm very much a perfectionist and I'm trying to recently try to not be like that because it's tiring <laughs> so <laughs> no that's okay uh, what do I want to achieve that's another big question <laughs> but I think I want to <laughs> in my artwork something that can communicate how I feel and how others, how others feel you know um, mm. it's not just about my story um, how I feel can communicate to how others feel in the transgender community and non-binary community too so yeah it's that goal of like <clears throat> what I'm trying to explore is trying to make things like not too blatantly about being trans because I kind of want it to reach an audience um that can impact more people if that makes sense um and I kind of like my work to be up to interpretation anyway but even though deep down I know it's about my stuff and other people's feelings but it's kind of like trying to find that balance where you can spread a story wide enough that is palatable unfortunately but you know it's better to get a story out there than making it like too intense <laughs> if one can see yeah it. I get it though yeah that, I mean that was really powerful I mean like it's a shame like you know in online or like you know in educationally there doesn't really like 
it have like too much information about like you know LGBT or sort of like sort of a support or like a platform that to actually I mean nowadays they did have it but like not as much as in like you know like a big platform that people can express their feeling or like you know to develop their gender a little bit I think because for me I've been asking myself and also through the time to time because I'm pansexual I was like not sure like when I was quite young age but you know in school you never like, actually say like oh what is what is that what is about your personality through gender too so mm. it's sort of like kind of a sad things to hear like even nowadays technology was so like open but it's like rarely like you got like a sort of information or like you know history or like enough data to tell you like stuff sometimes do you think yeah it's also like another thing that um that happens to some people as well because the in- internet is so open um mm. I find that people can, can go down rabbit holes where you can get extreme views and um what I've been seeing recently a lot of misinformation about transgender and stuff like that as well <clears throat> mm. Um, that can be quite unsafe uh, especially uh, around binding and all that like there's a lot of young kids that have been that bind while sleeping when binding can literally um, suffocate you um, so it's, it's um, I think it's better to educate you know when like in an in a proper system than online where you can unfortunately get wrong information you can go down different pipelines that can lead to extremist views or make mm. you not be who you are because you saw different views you know so <clears throat> it's just like it's like a double-edged sword really like online is good because you can find yourself but it's also has a lot of information that I think could be better educated if it was in the system you know but mm. You know, the world we live in today is just a bit going a bit backwards, isn't it? Yeah, I can view like that way too somehow. I mean, also educations, not just even about gender somehow, like about sexuality, like sort of things. It's still quite not open, especially I know it's not like against to any religion, but somehow like I was in a like Christian school for a while and it sort of not open up but I feel like at first I thought like my school was not open up but like um someone I heard from like you know other school they're even not able to mention it or like even say that like oh having sex is a shame things but you know like things like they educate in the like like a way that from a school which is like very surprisingly for me as well when I hear that from like one of my friends from their school because they're like in like a Christian reality, like a society and you know they say like oh if you're pregnant you do abortion this is wrong it's like sort of like what is right and what is wrong and also somehow like I think education definitely need to I think need to be more like inappropriate way that to give a people an answer sometimes because it actually can change people life or make people uncomfortable or regret in their lives so it's like really important I think general but you know I mean based on like what we've just been saying about you know internet it's not been safe and also you know it's not much information about it I think like somehow it's time maybe like the school or maybe some other like places can able to educate a bit more mm, from time to time yeah oh actually I just like want to jump up like a bring up a question now why is a hundred because like when you say like you want to make like a hundred objects like with your artwork why is hundred is there like a particular number or just like something that's mean a lot to you for a hundred experimenting um I was basically in like a creative rut um throughout the whole of this term and uh, uh my tutor like really liked I made like 10 and she was like what if you make like 50 um mm. it, the more you make the more you can like visualize what you want to do with it um and I was like you know what I'm just gonna make 100 
and it kind of just came from that it wasn't really like a statistic or like a number I just kind of aimed get to 100 so I had enough to kind of like see what I could do with it and visualize it a bit more so nothing special unfortunately <laughs> well that's okay I mean it's still a reason and this is like a process from like you want to achieve something and want to I think as an artist as well when you're sort of like not sure what you want to do in the stage and you sort of just like oh I want to develop a bit and you know I think it's a really good idea to you know give yourself like oh yeah I want to do a hundred like end up like you know to mm. maybe like have some further down you know experimenting and yeah do you think you're going to continue like uh so sort of like a theme next year about gender or do you think that you want to continue something um a bit more like personal to yourself do you still like sort of develop it not too sure about it um you know I'm gonna continue like the gender stuff because very much about me uh, and I'm trying to make my work more and more personal as mm. I, um I don't think like my work will ever change from what I'm doing now theme wise I think is um I think it's quite important um, in art to make stuff that can be quite uh, shocking or difficult or very personal. So I don't see the point of me making, let's say, I turn around and start painting horses. I don't give two flying fucks about horses. Sorry, mind my language. But no, that's I fine. <laughs> I don't do two flying fucks about horses, but I do give two flying fucks about the situation in, of the world and that. So <laughs> I get it. Okay, last question I would like to ask you in the home cast. Uh, it's not too, I mean, it can be difficult when you say like it's a hard question, but like something that I think would be nice if like the audience would like to get some advice from your perspective. Nothing too against, you know, you're young or like that, because I feel everyone have like different perspective thinking in different stages. So it will be really helpful for, you know, some audience are like similar age with us like that too. So the question is, um, if you want to say one word or something that like it can be quite useful to tell like the audience that like what will be or something that what you've been learning that it helped you to go through your journey, for example, like your challenge gen journey or, you know, anything that when you find difficult, that's really helped you to go through. Ooh, one word. <laughs> it can be one word it can be you know just how, how you feel about the perspectives maybe I would, I would say one word would be like believe like mm. believe yourself um like to extend that let's say if you don't have a lot of support around you even if you're even if you're cis whatever if you don't have any a lot of support around you just believe in yourself I think that's like the number one thing that can drive you and push you to be who you are to get somewhere in life you don't believe in yourself it, you're just going to be stuck and with and then when you believe in yourself you can get more support and you can find the right people in your life to help mm. you I think believe like belief I think that's mm. good <laughs> thank you I mean believe is such a big word for me too it's you know as in like I'm not like confident person believe is actually a big word too mm. yeah I mean everyone have like their own work but I think like it's really nice you know to share the experience and you know thank you for telling me the story your artwork and being inspired through you know your gender I think it's really powerful and I can't wait to see like your your work like in the future as well there's like a festival coming, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the second year uh, festival. The second to the 5th of May, I believe. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I mean, like, if someone would like to come down to the Poly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's the Poly, because um, there's multiple locations. It's the Poly, the uh, Princess Pavilion and Cornish Bank. Oh, wow. Amazing. So if you guys around please check out and support all the lovely artists and you know just absorb their story as well thank you so much Jordan for being my lovely guests and being volunteering thank you for having me <laughs> all right I will see you guys
very soon then. Thank you.